Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel for the first time. So today we're at the front end of my Rivian and we're gonna be talking about another aftermarket accessory. So frunks are amazing, <laughs> but I worry about what I put in there and how dirty this stuff is. Um, so there's a couple, there's a couple uh, accessories you can look to not only make your frunk better, but you can load it up with whatever you want. You don't have to worry about mud and spills and things like that. So we're gonna get into a frunk liner today that uh, allows you to kind of load up your frunk with whatever you need. All right, so uh, Best EV Mods on Amazon sent me, or sent me a message again and said, hey, uh, we have a new frunk liner coming out. Uh, wondering if you'd be interested in checking it out and reviewing it. So that's what we're going to do today. So I already bought a frunk liner uh, for my truck. It's actually from Smart Liner USA is what I bought it from. And um, the price comparison between Best EV Mods, the one I'm uh, reviewing today, and Smart Liner USA are almost exactly the same. They're about 90 bucks. But the difference is Smart Liner has just the liner that's on the top. Um, best EV mods, they actually have the top layer and they have one for the lower layer. So you have that little uh, kind of kick up uh, divider that you can take out of the frunk um, to get into like the lower basin part. Um, so they actually have a liner for that portion. And that liner, when you add the two liners together, because you can buy them separate if you only want one, they equal what the Smart Liner USA one. So when I say price comparison, they are the same price but you are getting a top layer and a bottom layer with Best EV Mod. With the Smart Liner USA, you're only getting, you're only getting the top layer. So uh, just a little heads up there. But really, the liner itself, you know, I'm interested in these because I want to be able to load up the front with different things and not have to worry about things spilling. So it's kind of just like a, you know, a all weather mats for the inside of your truck. You're kind of doing the same concept um, with, the, with the front liner because it's just an extension of... Uh, places to carry things and whatever you want to do that the cool thing about the bottom frunk layer it also has the hole um, the hole or the for the port to drain so I know some people were putting ice and things inside of that uh, no big deal this would have the uh, this would have the port and if things do spill you know you could wash them out and certainly uh, put things down through the porthole because they have that uh, they have that opening as well and they thought about that in the lower in the lower compartment so very simple video today um, when I want to compare like the qualities of the two different liners so I would say the smart liners probably you know the materials probably a little bit thicker when you're when you're comparing it's a little bit more rigid um, which you know sorry that almost fell um, but we're comparing uh, next to each other really it's both like a rubber synthetic you know where it's going to trap all the moisture and everything like that. Uh, the other thing as well, since this one's not as rigid, it forms easier into not only the bottom because the bottom compartment has you know ridges and it has to kind of form up over that. But um, I would say also on the Smart Liner one, the walls come up a little bit higher. Um, the best EV mods don't have high as high walls. If you're not planning on like spilling a ton of stuff or you're just trying to keep like mud and dirt from boots or you know whatever whatever you're putting in the front uh, from just like not getting all over the place or not getting on that like felted uh, whatever upholstery divider, then you're trying to protect that, then really the walls don't very much matter. So um, between the two, I like having the top and bottom layer. So I very appreciate the best EV mods uh, for the same price you're getting, you know, you're getting two liners versus the one. Um, and I do like having that bottom layer. I think that's actually really great um, because if you, if you would spill something and it would get down through under the, the top layer, you know, you would still be catching it on the bottom. And if you want to take the divider out, you still have the protection on the bottom as well. So, uh, yeah, really impressed. Uh, I think it, it you know, the, the hardest part is when you get them, they come folded. You have to lay them out in heat. It's a little cold where I am right now uh, with the in, the in the winter months. So I had to kind of put it in my house and lay it flat. And then the, the heat allows it to, you know, straighten itself out. And then I just put it into the truck. So insulation, super easy. Protection kind of like an all weather mat for your frunk. So you can load it up with whatever you really want and not have to worry about getting, you know, everything in the bottom of it dirty or, and you could pick it up, dump any of the, the crap out if there's a bunch of dirt, grime, gravel, whatever, and then put it right back in. Easily washable as well. So uh, if you're looking to use your frunk to 
you know, carry some crazy things that could potentially get everywhere. Uh, I think these front liners are pretty great. I, I have both experience with the smart liner, which I also did a review on. And then I have the best EV mods, which gives you the top layer and the bottom layer. Really impressed. Great job. Um, I love it. Uh, for the same price, getting two for one to me is the sell there, but that's totally up to you um, in, the, in the space of materials. But yeah, so we're going to leave it there. And if you have any questions, certainly leave them down below and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks.